In this video, we explore the Miami food scene and go on a Miami foodie tour next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the Miami series. Today, we're gonna be going all around Miami, trying out different types of international cuisine, some of the best spots, and we're starting off at one of the most popular places, Versailles. And we're gonna try out some Cuban food. I heard it's really cracking. They have a huge parking lot, and I'm just really craving a Cuban sandwich and maybe a few other things. So let's go inside and grub it up. Versailles is a entire compound. They have a bakery, a cafe where you can get 90 cent coffee, and they also have a sit down restaurant. Right now, wait is about 20 to 25 minutes to get a table, so me and Action Kid are here. We're gonna wait for our table and get some grub. So you get some of the cheapest uh, eats here in Versailles. You got the dried bananas and you can get coffee for 90 cents, so if you're looking for cheap eats, Versailles has it. Looks like the business hours are 8 a.m. to 1 a.m. Monday to Thursday, 8 a.m. to 2.30 a.m. Friday, Saturday, and 9 to 1 a.m. Sunday. Oh wow, they even have empanadas, some jamón croquettes. Look at that, that looks so amazing. I just picked up a few empanadas and some pastries and it was only seven bucks. Definitely a cheap eats capital here in Miami. Now we're in the bakery and they have a ton of different pastries, sandwich and everything. Prices are super cheap. AK, how much? It's five dollars for a tuna sandwich. Cuban sandwich is seven seventy-five. Some of these pastries are like three bucks, two bucks. Unbelievable. I have an admission guys. I haven't really liked pina colada my entire life. Like, I don't hate the taste of it. I actually like the taste of it, but I've never really ordered it until I got hooked on it this week. We're here trying the Versailles pina colada. The waiter said it was great. So let's try it out. It tastes like a pina colada, but more cheesecakey. It has like a cheesecakey taste to it. Mm. And it's strong. That's super strong pina colada. I might have to get another one of this before dinner's over. For an appetizer, we got the yuca fries and it comes with a cilantro sauce. Ever since I've gone to Border Grill in Las Vegas, I tried their yuca fries and it was amazing. These are like thicker cut fries. Wow, it looks nice and crisp, look at that. Let's try it out with the cilantro sauce. This sauce, is on freaking point, on point. The crisp, the consistency of the potato on this, amazing. Mm. This is good, man. Light little cilantro sauce, sense of tingliness, and the yuca fries. These are hearty, hearty fries. Mm. Action kid! <laughs> I wish. We got the Criollo, which is like a Cuban sampler. And what's in it is yellow rice, black beans, ropa vieja, shredded beef in tomato sauce, fried pork chunks, ham croquette, sweet plantains, Cuban tamale, and cassava, Cuban mojo. This looks amazing. It's only $14.50 for this meal. And me and AK are also splitting a classic famous Cuban sandwich from here. So looking forward to try it out. This place is the most famous Cuban restaurant in the world for a reason. And pretty much everything on the menu you can get is very affordable. I got the boliche, which is the Cuban style hot roast. It's stuffed with Spanish sausage. It's got onions topped with green peas. It also comes with plantains and rice. The hot roast juice on the rice. I'm excited to try the uh, Cuban sandwich too. Let's get going, Jay. This hot roast just comes right off. You can cut it with a spoon instead of sauce. Get some sauce on here. Mix it with some peas. This is a good uh, size bite. Oh wow, this is an amazing dish. I love the broth, it's really, really good. You can definitely taste the Spanish sausage and the onions, also the spice that they add into it. I think they also season it with wine too. It's really, really good. And who can not forget these sweet plantains. These are usually amazing, but this one looks like they charred it a little bit. Mm. Oh, so good. All right, I'm gonna 
start off with the shredded beef. Get the yellow rice up in here. Mmm. This reminds me a lot like uh, Filipino menudo, just with shredded beef instead. It's got a little sweet and savoriness to it. Mmm. That really is a good start. Now let's get some sweet with the uh, plantain bananas. Oh, wow. It's like Filipino to run without the wrappers. <laughs> mm. Let's grab the beans. Put the black beans on top of the yellow rice. I love I love black beans. That's yummy. Now let's check out the ham croquettes. It's got a nice little mesquite flavor to it actually. It's good. These are the fried pork chunks right here. Mm. Crispy outside goes great with the yellow rice and beans. Mm -hmm. You also got Cuban tamales too. Mm. So good. What a start to this video. I like the pina colada so much. I had to try their strawberry colada. I would probably have to give the pina colada the win, but this is still pretty darn good. Mm. Can't go wrong, but definitely try the pina colada. I'm super full, but I'd be remiss if I don't try their world famous Cuban sandwich here. Let's try it out. Yeah, the mix of ham and pork and mustard, pickles. Mm, that's a really good Cuban sandwich. Wow. I'll finish that tomorrow for sure. So that was the world famous Versailles Cuban restaurant. Man, how are we gonna top this? Because this was amazing. Let's see what other cuisine is around here in Miami. So let's move on to the next spot. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. And this place is a must visit when in Miami. Other food you should try here is Colombian. And this is the place of fellow coffee and lunch. And I got their empanada. We're gonna try it upstairs. I found a cheap eats spot. Uh, it's a Colombian empanada spot. I bring this with me. I bring some hot sauce in my bag. I got the spinach and I got a beef empanada. Look at the spinach. Mm, that's good. It's cold because I met some Filipinos downstairs and we were talking. <laughs> we talked for like 20 minutes. All right, let's try out the beef. How oh, the beef all fell out. Look at that. Good stuff. We're here at the 5 o'clock somewhere bar at Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. I am a tourist. I'm here to have fun. I'm gonna pay some money. So I got myself the Go Cup here. It's the booze in the blender. Jimmy Buffett's Miami Vice. It's pina colada with strawberry margarita and rum and it's blended together in this nice green and clear glass. All right guys, I don't want this to overflow so let's uh... Super good, man. That's a two thumbs up. That's what you call Miami Vice right there. How is it? The Miami money, Vice. Money in the bank. You like it? You made the perfect Miami Vice. Yeah, man. There. That's like one of my favorite I'm drinks. loving it, man. And I love the show, too. So like, yeah, dude. I love the colors, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have a good time with this on my live stream, guys. Go check it out after this video is over with. We're here in Brickell, one of the most expensive neighborhoods in Miami, and it's hard to really get cheap eats around here, but we found one. Publix, it's a grocery store that's all over Florida, and they're really known for their Publix sub. Pub sub. The pub sub. All right, man, let's check out what type of pub subs we're gonna pick up. Look at these New Orleans-style kettle chips. Spicy Cajun Craw Taters, for 125. I'm trying this. She made me the Cajun Turkey Sandwich. This is hot. 909 for a foot long. That's a deal right there. Pub sub, baby. I should get a Florida beer here while I'm here, but man, I'm hooked on these Trulies right now. I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm gonna go with the Funky Buddha six pack. Why not? Let's go Florida. Let's stay with the. Theme. They also have the Land Shark Premium Lager here, which is uh, Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville beer. Legendary public sub, shortened to pub sub. Probably one of the ultimate cheap beats out there. I got here a chicken tenders 
Publix is really known for their chicken tenders with uh, lettuce, tomato, spinach, honey mustard. Mmm, it is warm. Crunchy, fresh too, which is what I love about the pub subs. Always a great value. Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine too for a whole sub. You're saving that for tomorrow too. Yeah, part of it. As for me, I got the Cajun turkey. I got spicy mustard, spicy mayo, onions, lettuce, spinach, tomatoes. This looks really good. They usually have Cajun turkey and shrimp, but they didn't have any more shrimp, so I just went with this. You get that mesquite, spicy Cajun taste to it. Tons of turkey in it. Look at that. This is tasty. I'm saving the other half for tomorrow too. Keep with every city I go to, I wanna try their local beer. So I got the Funky Buddha Floridian Wheat Beer. So it's a light beer. I didn't go with the Truly, so let's try this out. Okay, light, weedy. Definitely something you can have in the summer, in the sunshine state. Oh yeah, this is perfect. I'll have a couple of these tonight. Cheers guys, pub sub, you gotta have it. spot for Cheap Eats is here, San Villa. It's Asian fusion, and I'm here trying their Sapporo and a cold glass, but what I'm here for is the Filipino food, and I'm gonna try their $5 shopao. They have two different kinds, which is awesome, and a Filipino dessert, so we're gonna include that here in the Miami Cheap Eats. Pour the beer. Cheers. Oh man, nothing beats a nice cold Sapporo after a six hour drive back from Key West in traffic. That Miami traffic ain't no joke. Action Kid's actually gonna try Bulalo, some Nilaga Bulalo. And for me, I didn't go with the Filipino food. I went with the Miami heat roll because since we're in Miami, you know, I gotta go with the Miami heat roll. Show some love to Jimmy Buckets. Looks like he's got salmon, shrimp, and it's fire. So let's try it out. That's a tasty roll. Wow, I'm happy with this. I'm gonna have action to try a few. It's really good. So by now, you've probably seen my Hawaii Cheap Eats video in Oahu, and I tried Manapua with Felix from Amanda and Felix Eats. Well, this is the Filipino version. This is Shopao, and they have it here in San Villa, and it's a pork Shopao, and it comes with garlic poison sauce. So, or you use it, you dip it in garlic poison sauce. It is tasty, but I'm gonna ask for some sriracha because I like making sriracha. All right, we got the sriracha sauce. No, no, they always usually have a paper at the bottom. I'll dip it in the sriracha and in the garlic poison sauce. Let's try it out, it's nice and hot. Mmm, nice sweet pork in the middle. You can see it right there. I love myself some shop out. And here in Miami, definitely a cheap piece because it's really hard to find Filipino food around here. Next time you're here, Go check it out here in downtown Miami, San Villa. Also try out their sushi. They even have a Filipino buffet, which is only 11 bucks down the hallway over here. I had to do a separate video on it because it was so good. So make sure you check it out after this one's over with. I'm gonna enjoy my shop out. Mm. Here's the buolo. Looks really good to be honest with you. Looks like it's got a uh, bok choy, string beans, corn, oxtail, which I didn't expect and a soup. That looks good. It's hearty. Scallions in it. Let's sip it off. Ooh. Feels just like home. Like it's a very, very hearty broth. Lots of vegetables in it. The oxtail um, flavors seep right into the broth too. It's good. You need two utensils to eat this. The soup spoon and the fork. Let's dip this in the broth. Oh wow, oxtail so good. Meat comes right off the bone, look at that. Excellent. Try some veggies. This kind of looks like sweet potato a little bit. And we'll try some uh, string beans. Bok choy, every, all the vegetables are fresh here. Buolo is so good. For the final Filipino cheap eats, it's the Halo Halo here. It's under 10 bucks. Surprisingly, I found Halo Halo in Miami, so I figured, why not try it? You got the flan, you got the magnolia ube, crushed ice, shaved ice. There's a bunch of jelly, beans, and a bunch of different Filipino sweets down below. Some crispy stuff as well. Let's try it out. And you got the long spoon too. Put it in a nice Sunday cup. This is gonna be a great dessert. 
You got your condensed milk too. We're gonna mix it all up. I do like getting a little of the ube ice cream first. Nice start. Now the inside, the laman, which means the insides of this. The contents. Laman is like the contents of what's in here. Mixing it up. Once you mix the uh, ube with the condensed milk, you can see it turn a little more of like a lavender color. Mm. Nice and sweet. We got the flan flavor to it, ube flavor. Different sorts of consistencies. You get crunchiness, you get jello, you get the flan consistency. Mm. Then the ice, nice and cool. This is how you do it. Just keep mixing. Also got some beans in here. Look at that, guys. There you go. Mm. Doesn't matter anywhere in the world you go. If you can find a Filipino spot and they have halo halo, it's a must try for dessert. Mm. We even get like a Rice Krispie treat taste to it. Mm, wrap. Other things that I saw in here, some langka fruit and some ube halaya as well. Mm, some of that jelly. After seeing Jake Haitian get his hollow hollow, I couldn't resist but get my own. I'm already making a mess. <laughs> You're supposed to mix it, but I'm mixing it already on the table. Oh gosh. You can tell I'm not a Filipino because I'm uh, getting all the shaved ice on the table. Jay, how do you mix this thing properly? Mix it all it's on the inside. inside. There's no method, uh, man. Just the, try to the, do the, as the less salt. pillage as possible. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, will I have any hollow hollow left? It's mixed mix, but it's probably... I should call it mess yeah, mess. Because uh, that's what I'm doing. You can tell it requires some practice, folks. Oh, no. All right, I'm done mixing it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix it on myself. Go on the sides. Yeah? Okay. Ah, you're giving me the Filipino tricks after I made a mess. I see how it is. There you go. Alright, there we go. Okay, it's got a nice lavender consistency now. Let's try this thing. Mmm. The condensed milk with the ube. Got something from the bottom. So good. It's been a while since I had this, but how how here is excellent. Colombian food here is really popular, and here at the Flagler Galleria, they have a Colombian food spot. There are more than a few Filipino food spots in this Flagler Galleria. This is Manila Cantina. They also have a buffet here for $11 or $12. They also have Filipino groceries. So there's like three or four different Filipino spots here for the crew stop workers. Next up on this Miami food tour is Mar y Tierra, it's Peruvian food. This is only my second time ever trying Peruvian food. The first time was in Manila with my YouTube buddy and homie Jaco de Leon and we actually had it in the vlog I think but uh, yeah I decided I wanted to try it here in Miami which is a hot spot for Latin American food and Peruvian is great. I tried the empanadas, the Colombian food, I'm trying to give you guys a nice mix. First I'm trying a Peruvian beer, imported cerveza cristal, beer from the Andes. I like their uh, logo since 1922. This is a tasty beer, yeah. Ah, I like pairing my lunches with that certain country's beer. So, Peruvian Cristal, thumbs up. Ah. Alright guys, so I got the churrasco. It's skirt steak, I got it medium. They gave me some salsa verde, some green sauce that she said is spicy. Comes with a salad with green peas, tomatoes, onions, lettuce, and then a bunch of thick fries. I'm excited to try this uh, spicy salsa verde, so let's dig into it. Oh yeah, I'm digging that sauce. I can handle it. Mmm, nice fries. Now I'm gonna go with the lime too. Put the lime all over the skirt steak. Alright, I had it cooked medium. All I have is this green sauce. Let's try out the, shit, the churrasco. Nice and soft skirt steak, tons of flavor to it. The salsa verde makes it real nice and spicy. The salad offsets it real well. First time I've had a salad this whole trip. <laughs> mm, looks like there's a little Italian dressing in this. Wash it down with a Cristal. I like it. Second time trying Peruvian food is definitely a thumbs up. Mm, try some more of this steak. Having it medium, keeps it nice and soft. Put some lime on it with the salsa verde. Oh, I'm gonna finish this whole entire skirt steak for sure. 
If y'all enjoyed this food video here in Miami, check out my Key West Eats video right up here. And I'll see you over there, JKationers. And in the words of me, stay traveling, Miami. Let's go.